Hi, my name is Owen Hawkins from Surrey Satellite Technologies in the UK, Guildford, just southwest of London. We manufacture satellites for the purposes of navigation, communication, Earth observation. Our tagline is that we're changing the economics of space. So we do things at a lower cost, quicker, uh, and in more uh, constrained budgets. We manufacture satellites for communication, navigation, and Earth observation. Particularly, we're building uh, all the payloads of the Galileo constellation of navigation satellites for the European uh, Commission, European Union. Huge project with 24 satellites. Uh, also, we're building, uh, we have a small geo project that we're, we're, we're starting up now, a geostationary communication satellite that is. Uh, we also have uh, optical and uh, radar Earth observation satellites that we're building, uh, which you can just see behind me here. So this one will get you a one meter or better resolution uh, from low Earth orbit and uh, this one here will uh, be able to see at night and through clouds so that we can help mitigate issues around maritime security, fo de deforestation and forestry and also agriculture and disaster management as well as a key thing particularly for this radar satellite it really helps during flooding scenarios so we can see straight through the clouds, straight through the rain clouds obviously and, uh, and spot the extent of the flood on the ground, find out who's affected and go and help them as quick as possible. So because we can build satellites that are, that are smaller and uh, lower cost, we, we're able to launch satellites into Constellation. These may be you know, a number of satellites that might be as small as say 15 kilograms, so just the size of say a shoebox, right up to uh, satellites that might be a, a tonne for geostationary communications, which would be far larger. Uh, the, the, the benefit of being able to launch in Constellation is that we can get a higher revisit rate of, an, of a particular area. This is really important because in the scenarios that I've already discussed, so flooding and uh, disaster events, you need to be on the scene as quickly as possible. It's extremely important that we go find out what's happening in the disaster zone or the, the area of interest and send that information out as soon as possible so that the afflicted can be helped. Equally, in the case of agricultural monitoring, which is a huge growth area, uh, we need to be able to monitor our crops as regularly as possible. We need to be able to avoid the clouds, uh, which means that we have to have as many satellites as possible to be able to get that information while the clouds aren't in the way. And so we can monitor the, the precise growth, the progress of the growth of the crop from space. So the constellations, when applied to the uh, agricultural application, with huge advantages, I've said, enable us to, to monitor very regularly. So Surrey Satellite Technology Limited, we also built, for example, the uh, Rapid Eye constellation of satellites. They're five satellites can come back very regularly to a specific area of interest and have a look and see, measure directly the health of crops, which we can see from the light that they reflect back from the sun. So the exact levels of uh, near infrared light, which our human eyes can't see, but the, uh, the satellite can, uh, the exact levels of that give, enable us to measure directly the, the health of crops. And that health then can be used to feed into models which we can then use to, to for example, precisely measure the amount of fertiliser that we need to apply. Uh, we also have been involved in a constellation of satellites which we built with uh, UK support and some other countries' support uh, which can be used for very wide area monitoring of, of agriculture. Those satellites provide us imagery very, very regularly over huge areas, continental scale areas, so that you can then feed that back into crop models some countries distribute that out to, for free to farmers, which means they can then precisely apply the fertiliser where it's needed. This can save, in some cases, half the cost of fertiliser for a farmer. And fertiliser, as we all know, is, is, is increasing in price uh, very rapidly.